So Lulu's Programmas, I'm Adolfo the Nerdy Puerto Rican and I'm here with... I'm Alice. And this is the Plebeian Perspective for the AEW July 8th, 2023 edition. Let's get to it. Our first match tonight was Ricky Starks vs. Powerhouse Hobbs. Uh, and this was one of the Owen Hart Cup tournament matches. Semi-finals. Semi-finals. What, uh, what, so what did you think? Um, I thought it was good. I always enjoy seeing like uh, strength versus speed. I think that's always makes for an interesting match. Um, I was rooting for Ricky, so I was very pleased uh, to see because I was hoping for a final match card of um, Sam Punk and Ricky. So, mm -hmm. um, which at the beginning of the, tonight, I didn't think we were going to see that. Ricky ended up taking the match. Um, which I thought was fun. Um, the best part to me uh, was this, the um, the fight that um, Powerhouse Hobbs had at the end with yes, his manager. Yes, Powerhouse Hobbs and yes. QT Marshall and the QTV crew. Looks like they are splitting ways, which Mikey and I had actually talked about this. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs with, with QTV has actually been hindering Powerhouse Hobbs. Uh, so well, even and they went with that really heavily yeah. tonight too because he's the reason that yep. Powerhouse Hobbs lost the match. Yep. Uh, yeah. So what what had happened really quick was uh, QT Marshall got up on, onto the ring and a really interesting f uh, flip of the ref being interrupted and the heel winning because of it. Uh, in this case, the ref interrupted and Powerhouse Hobbs had Ricky um, pinned. At, but QT Marshall kept just screwing was, around with, yeah, with, was with, the ref, with the ref, um, to which uh, Powerhouse Hobbs got up and, and pretty much told QT Marshall to get get the, you know what, down off the mat. And, uh, and that, then Ricky came from uh, behind mm -hmm. and hit Powerhouse Hobbs, who then in turn hit, what yep. did we call him? TV? Uh, Q, QT Marshall. Is that so he hit TV. He hit TV. Well, and then he... <laughs> <laughs> Fell right off. Yep, yep, and then uh, and then Ricky uh, Ricky uh, Starks did get the uh, did get the pin um, from there, uh, and that's what caused the friction between uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and the QTV uh, crew. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs uh, did slam that one dude from QTV, oh, yeah. the smaller one. Yeah. Uh, but before he could get to QT Marshall, um, Harley. I think that yeah, Har a blonde lady uh, yeah, with Har rhinestones on her eyeballs. Yeah, she uh, she hopped in between Powerhouse Hobbs, just stomped off uh, mad. So um, I thought it was a good beginner for for Collision. I liked it. It was a good opener. Yep, yep. Um, yeah. and, and I thought the match was exciting, and it set up some good stories. Uh, yep. So I was very pleased with that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, but after that, we had uh, a spot between Willow Nightingale and Athena. Uh, so Willow Nightingale was supposed to wrestle. Um, uh, again, for the Owen Cup tournament, uh, the women's division uh, against Athena. But what happened was she uh, Willow got injured in her New Japan match, apparently. So she was not medically cleared uh, to wrestle. And so is going to be wrestling uh, next Friday. Uh, and, uh, you know, Athena and Willow came uh, came out. Uh, Athena, I should say, came out. And they had a pretty, had pretty good spot. Yeah, they had words. They had words. They had words. For a build up for the match for next uh, Friday, uh, I, was that right? I yeah I, I think it was I think it was good you know it was fine um, yeah uh, but th then this either led to or was after depending I think I might be wrong if if I'm wrong please correct me in the comments uh, Julia Hart from the House of Black House of Black who someone just despises. House oh, of I Black. can't stand the House of Black <laughs> uh, against they did wow. Didn't even get her name. Local talent, local talent jobber. Well, she was great though. Yeah, she was. She was. Good. I did want she the I did want the match to be longer because I wanted to see more of what Julia Hart can actually do. Um, but you know, it was a squash match. Yes, it was. And I guess they were like, "Oh, we have to have a women's match," and Willow was injured, so. It kind of felt like a last minute, like it, we had to shove it in there. It actually was, um, yeah. According to Bleacher Report, they did throw Julia, uh, Julia Hart, the Julia Hart match in there uh, because of the Willow Nightingale match having to be canceled, and they wanted to have a women's match there. Uh, I didn't even know that, and I called it. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I, for what it was, I thought it was fine. 
I think it's a bummer. I want to see longer, more interesting female matches. Yeah. If you're up next Friday, or if you can I think be, I'm going to watch Athena versus Willow <laughs> stay up next, for next Friday. Yep, I for definitely next, want to see that. Next Friday night Rampage. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, so then after that, oh, this, this was the was match This was my favorite of match of the me. night. Yeah. Um, we yeah. had the uh, the world champ tag team champs, FTR versus Juice Robinson and Jay White, the Bullet Club Gold. And it was... Uh, as JR would say, it was a slabanaka. It was a good match. I thought it was exciting um, to the very end. Yeah. Um, there were a lot of times when I had no idea what was going on, and I don't yeah. think the ref knew what was going on either. Um, lots of things that I think should have, uh, you know, ended in DQ, um, but you know, for plot reasons, that didn't happen. Did not. But again, very exciting match. It did end up going to. Greasy won the match. He got the juice, pin. Uh, um, Not Juice. Yeah, uh, I know Jay, who Juice is. Uh, Jay White. Yeah, whatever. Switch play Jay White. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. there we go. Yeah, no, it was my it was, favorite match. It was night. a good match. Went on for a long time. It was long. But uh, I wonder if they added it, right? So not only did they throw in Julia Hart, but maybe they added some extra time to the tag team match to fill up um, because Willa was not. Um, av- available to fight. I don't see anything on Bleacher Report about that, uh, but uh, it, it gave was them more time. yeah. It it was it was a long match. I thought that it was a long match that utilized all the time in the match well. well. Well, uh, yeah, there were there were ebbs and flows, and everything mm-hmm. told a story. I was never bored. Yes, right, yep. which was always good because so there are sometimes like when matches get slow, and you're like, yep. Um, mm-hmm. At least in my opinion. Um, so, but yep. this was good. And there was not a lot of referee shenanigans, which you don't no, like. I don't. Yeah. I don't like referee shenanigans. Yep. Um, this was a good one. Yep. Yeah. Jay Jay White uh, got the pen um, legal uh, without any any shenanigans. Yeah. It's, it was actually all four combatants. No, all Jay White and Juice Robinson and. Uh, what's his name from FTR? Were in the ring, like they were laid all out. In the ring, yeah, laid just out. laid out. And Juice was on. No, Juice was out. Yeah, Greasy was on top. Right, getting the and the the other guy was crawling, yeah. like army crawling, trying yeah. to prevent the the three count. Yeah, which he almost did. He almost it was did. really yep. incredible. Yep. Um, the storytelling for that last pit, and so it was very like kind of like fingernail. Yeah, like biting. Yeah, and very telling too. The uh, the Regina uh, Saskatchewan crowd, which when FTR first came out, they were all in for FTR. Yeah. At the end of the match, actually gave. Uh, Bullet Club Gold their their flowers as it were yeah uh, you know and gave them the credit and gave them gave them a standing ovation so because uh, it, was, it was a good match it was it was a good match um, it was uh, I can honestly say that it's probably one of my top five tag team matches um, that I've seen in, in my lifetime but uh, before before we move on then we had um, the Redeemer spot oh. one of the most enlightening enlightening I... spots. What is Ever. even happening? Ever. What is happening? <laughs> Why is he standing in a bathroom under the heat light, you know, telling us all these things that he's, like, foregoing? I just, you know, so I was with Miro up until the point when he did the... Oh, yeah, the, my, uh, the, the, my sexy double-jointed, double-jointed wife. wife. That's that's when he... Because he was like, you know, uh, I won't be swayed by, you know, gold belts or by gods or I this, that. I can't be tempted. Or, right, and I was like, okay, okay, I'm, 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 I'm getting this. And then he throws in sexy double-jointed wives, and I'm just like... <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, Not we'll, sure I understand what's happening. Yeah, we'll we'll see what's coming up uh, for Miro, because um, this is actually the second week that we don't see him in action. Yeah, we haven't seen him. We didn't see him in action, and it's the second spot we've seen with yep. him, um, kind of making these um, cryptic messages about like you know becoming more devout. It would seem. Yep. Um, kind of thing. Yep. Oh, and, and then uh, while we're on promos, let's just uh, go over the, the last promo spot, uh, which was the uh, House of Black. 
promo spot. <gasps> I loved that one. Yeah. Um, I did. Yeah. I loved the angle that they went with, because it could have been like, oh, you know, you're nothing without your mask, blah, blah, blah. Like classic, easy, yep. easy. Yep. But that's not the route they went. Um, went kind of creepy, kind of like, I'm going to make you like better than you think you are by separating you from this mask but also in like a very manipulative and kind of dark spooky yeah. way yeah. um so definitely loved that angle was so happy about that yeah yeah so i that that definitely forwards that storyline with um uh El edolo along uh really really well in my opinion so yeah loved it's that. He, but now he needs to step up and like start getting some I I want to see him fight about it. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I did, I did really like the spot, but I feel like there's been a little bit of a pause here, a gap in the story. Mm -hmm. um, I want them to fight about it. I want to see some progression in this storyline. I'm ready. <laughs> yeah. Which now that because uh, last because next week is going to be the finals for yeah. the Owen Hart tournament. Yeah. Uh, so I think that the week after that, that's when a lot of those storylines are going to start that's fair. coming up again. So, But I'm um, excited. This is yeah. actually what I'm saying. No. <laughs> um, so then the next match was uh, Action Andretti uh, versus Scorpio Sky. This was fun. Yeah, it was a fun match. Uh, Action Andretti... Good fight. He gave a good fight. It went fight. longer than I expected it to. Yep. It was not a squash, ma squash match. <laughs> so, yes, action and ready. Very acrobatic. Very, very acrobatic. gymnast. Um, did some really fun moves. Yep. Um, there was a time where he did, like, a handstand and then hit the ropes and bounced back. Very cool. Very fun to watch. Yep. Um, you kind of knew going in that Scorpio Sky was going to get gonna, the win. Yeah. yeah. Um, because he cut the promo, I think, last week yeah. or the week before. And... Um, but it, um, Action Andretti definitely gave him a run for his money, and it gave, made a very um, exciting match. Yeah, and they shook hands at the end, and uh, they which both, was nice. they both, yeah. like, nobody, like, flipped anybody or fought anybody. Mm -hmm. They both shook hands. We're like, okay, yeah. I'm like, yeah. we never see this. Yeah, that was, yeah. So that was fun. Exactly. And that brings us to our final match uh, of the night, the main event. Which was Samoa Joe versus CM Punk. Uh, again, se yeah, semi final. I finally enjoyed <laughs> a, a main, main event. event. <laughs> uh, again, this was a semi final match for the uh, Owen Hart uh, Cup tournament. And uh, it, was, um, it was good. Uh, it was a good main event. CM Punk and Samoa Joe went, you know, got after it. A lot of great selling by CM Punk in my opinion um, as to the power of Samoa Joe uh, you know the two those these two wrestlers they're not they are not um, they're not flippy dippy do wrestlers yeah. by any by any stretch of the means no. um, they are definitely uh, mat tacticians well you know Samoa Joe is more power guy and CM Punk is what's known as a mat tactician but um they put they put on a good Look, match. They, I got strength and I got speed. You're yeah. throwing in new words here that mean nothing to me. <laughs> so we had the wall yeah. and we had the speed. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, Samoa Joe did great. I mean, I thought he was very good at his role right yep. like he is the wall he was like yep. angry heel guy or whatever and he really did like um, give CM Punk a run for his money. Um, I do finally feel like I understand why they keep giving CM Punk the main event. Um, the, I've finally seen him wrestle. Finally. It took them long enough. Um, <laughs> but it was good. It was good storytelling. Um, you know, uh, CM Punk did end up winning. Yep. Um, you know, pinned... Uh, pinned Samoa Joe, picked yep. him up a couple times, like all of these things that you were like, oh, he's never gonna be able to do it, right? But yep. he, you know, he did, and that was um, it was good. Yep. yep. And then um, at the end of the match, uh, Samoa Joe extended his hand to shake CM Punk's hand, and uh, when CM Punk went in for for the handshake, uh, Samoa Joe took him and and put him down into the um, into uh, the sleeper and uh choked uh, cm punk out yep. ftr had to had to come out because then samojo went outside of the ring uh to get a steel chair uh so i don't think that that's the last 
No. CM Punk's Samoa Joe matchup. We're going to see. No, I don't think so. Um, but like as the commentators were saying, that this just opens a new chapter uh, in the story between Samoa Joe and CM Punk. Right. Yeah. Um, so overall, what did you think of uh, Collision tonight? It was good. It was good. Yeah. I would uh, definitely give it a, a B plus. Uh, definitely got me hyped for uh, more AEW wrestling Are we great coming up. Now? Can we mess with the other guys too? Do we want it? Yeah. I'm not sure. We can grade it. Okay. We'll give it a B. Okay. Above there average. <laughs> so Alice gives it a B. I give it a B plus. That's your AEW uh, collision uh, review. Your plebeian perspective. I'm Adolfo the Nerdy Puerto Rican. I'm Alex. Hablamos luego.